Hey guys, welcome to Read 3D Find. My name is Saro. When we 3D print any object or any model, print orientation is very important, both from aesthetics and design point of view. It is as important as the layer height. When printing an object, if the first layer is stuck well enough to the bed and covers a larger area as that of the model, it will be stable throughout the print. Whereas if your print is poorly stuck to the bed, the print is susceptible to moving, wobbling and even warping. Print should be initiated in a such a way that minimum amount of support structures are required to ensure a reliable print with the best surface quality and maximum strength. For this, we have to consider three important points. First, we look for any flat surfaces on the model which will provide a stable first layer. Second, if the model does not have any flat area to successfully print, create a flat place or alternatively you can print with supports and a raft which will hold the print in place. If the print is tall and the first layer is fine or covers a very small area, we recommended printing with a raft or a brim to improve addition to the bread. Adding the raft will increase the print time and material. While printing any model, these three important settings should be considered. When a printer extrudes a layer, visible micro stepping known as layer lines are created in the Z axis. While this stepping can be minimized with fine layer heights or even removed with post processing, we can minimize the effects of stepping by optimizing the orientation of our model. This stepping at each new layer height is only visible in the Z axis. So, while the 3D printer cannot replicate a perfectly smooth curve or diagonal line in the Z axis, it can print this same curve or line with near perfection in the X and Y axis. Horizontal top or vertical surfaces of a print will typically print with better quality than the print underside where overhangs require support or bridging. If you want to know more about support structures, click this i button. Let us take an example. In this example, we have a part that was specifically designed for 3D printing. There are no ledges and all the angles are above 45 degree. So printing this part upright in orientation B is ideal. In orientation B, there will only be support structures in the drill hole, but realistically these are optional. Other orientations require unnecessary support material or affect the support finish with no benefit to performance, reliability or aesthetics. Next, mechanical performance. One of the key goals of 3D printing any functional part is to ensure that part will meet all the performance expectations. In addition to designing the part correctly and choosing the material settings, sometimes a specific printing orientation is also required. The reason for this is the layer lines in the 3D print. The layer lines act as weak points, so less force is required along the layer lines to create a separation and finally fracturing. This is very similar to how a wood grain in a piece of timber behaves. Let us take two examples. In the first, we have 3D printed a bolt. In orientation A, the bolt will print with suitable belt addition and sharp high quality threads. When printed in this orientation, the downward force will be applied across the layer lines. It is unlikely the bolt will handle the required weight and will snap between the layers. In orientation B, a raft will be required to improve belt addition and underside of the bolt will require support material. In this orientation, the layer lines are now positioned horizontally against the down force. When orientation B will require filling or sanding to improve the threads, this will be the best orientation for mechanical strength. When we try to break it, the print with orientation B will be much more difficult to break as compared to the one printed with orientation A. Second example, in this, the part is simple design that can be painted without support material in most orientations. When printed in orientation A, it will be easy to snap off both the walls as forces in the x-axis are applied along the layer lines. Ideally, this shape would be printed in orientation B, where each layer acts against the forces, reinforcing themselves. So coming to the conclusion after observing all these 3D prints, oftentimes there will be one or many orientations that are all suitable. However, there will be cases where most obvious orientation may not fit within your 3D printer defined build volume or suit your needs. In these cases, compromising certain aspects of the print may be required or perhaps even redesigning or editing the file to better suit the printing process. So guys, this was all that we have to say about 3D printing orientations. Also, if you have any queries regarding the print orientation, please write down in the comment box. Also, if you want a design or object to be printed, there will be a link down in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.